In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a coolant swirl pot to the coolant system of your 350Z. This video should apply to pretty much any car that's powered by a VQ35DE engine. So the parts that you're going to need to add a swirl pot to your engine are the swirl pot itself, a radiator block off cap, some extra tubing, and some extra hose clamps. The benefits of having a coolant swirl pot are reduced coolant temperatures and a coolant system that is constantly bleeding itself because the last thing you want in your coolant system is air. So the way all this works is coolant runs through your radiator just like normal and comes up to your filler neck. But instead of coming to a normal radiator cap, this is a blanking cap. So it just seals the top of this radiator off and allows coolant to go through this barb here. Falls all the way through this hose into the swirl pot. When it comes into the swirl pot, it comes in here at an angle on the edge of the cylinder and spins and causes a little vortex as it goes all the way down to the bottom. And what this does is it brings any air bubbles to the middle of the vortex and they come up to the top here where they can collect and eventually be pushed out if the radiator cap ever opens. Otherwise the air will just sit here at the top of the vortex and it's not in your coolant anymore. The coolant leaving it comes out this pipe and goes into this barb here by the thermostat and continues with the rest of the coolant. The key to this whole system working is having this part of the swirl pot be the highest point in the coolant system. So I do not have the bleeder screw on the back of the motor anymore because I don't have any heater hoses. But yeah, you can set yours up just like this. Just put a blanking cap on top of your radiator, run a hose from there into the side of the swirl pot. Spins all the way down, exits out this hose, it comes around, goes right into the thermostat. And then you have this last pipe that runs all the way to the overflow. I'll put some links in the description to where I got the swirl pot and where I got the blanking cap. This is a pretty simple design, so if you can TIG weld, you can make your own out of a larger aluminum pipe with some larger fittings. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week.